Hi, I'm inside the MDF room in my uh, corporate uh, office tower here and I thought I'd just show you around and the various internet options available. Now MDF uh, stands for Main Distribution Frame I believe. And that's just what they call these uh, communication rooms in the basement of uh, buildings, commercial office buildings like this one. And this is the uh, main patch panel for all the twisted pairs going up to every office in the building. Each one of those blue uh, trunk lines goes up to a different um, office and each office has like 14 or 16 pairs or something bundled into it and when I uh, moved into my office it did actually have five or six phone lines installed and had plenty of pairs actually left over and all those tags are from various uh, installation techs who have uh, left little notes or whatever when they've uh, installed or done modifications or patched it or whatever anyway so the first internet option in this building is of course ADSL over twisted pair copper but they are they are very limited in the number of ports I believe like D slam ports or whatever it is that they actually uh, have where and we're a long way from the exchange and the connection rate is terrible I used to have like 800 kilobit upload speed here in the when I first moved in to the lab here I had to go home and upload my videos because I had 2.4 megabits upload at home so woohoo which cost $110 a month for my home internet connection which is cable Telstra cable so you can get ADSL which is uh, I, I think I was only getting like 5 meg download or something it wasn't particularly quick and like 800 kbits per second upload and that was like 60 bucks a month or something like that. Anyway, let's have a look at the other options because uh, this building has um, NBN installed now, which is the national broadband uh, thing which us taxpayers here in Australia have paid like 40 or 50 billion dollars for and finally I'm going to get some use out of it. It's not nearly as good as overseas. It's crippled in many different ways in terms of the architecture, um, but yeah, it's like, anyway, at least I have some options. Let me, let me show you the other options. Now, here's the uh, Telstra rack, and that um, has all the twisted pair ports coming in. There's a battery backup uh, system in there. So that's for the regular phone type connections. Now, this box here is the Telstra. Telstra is a, the main communications provider in this uh, country, and they've got fiber coming in. All the buildings in my business park are like under 15 years old. So this is, you know, pretty new, newish building in the scheme of things. Um, so yeah, it, it had fiber, it's always had fiber coming in. But Telstra, if you want to get an internet connection on that fiber, okay, it is, I'm not kidding, when I was quoted a couple of years back, it was $8,000 per month for a 10 meg, 10 meg symmetrical connection. I am not kidding. It's come down since then. I believe it's like a couple of thousand dollars now per month for 10 meg, 10 meg. I like, it's just so insane that, you know, like, there, there are companies, some companies that'll just pay that, right? But of course it's just, it's just insane. What I wanted to show you is we've got no shortage of fiber on here. Now, this fiber box here is another competing company, UECOM, um, which I believe are owned by Optus uh, now or whatever. I think there's another Optus fiber coming in here somewhere. So I think that's at least three now. Now, UECOM, Optus, they want $800 to $1,000 per month for a 10 meg, 10 meg symmetrical connection. Um, and we have data caps, by the way. You'll get like a 500 gig data cap with either of those fiber plans for like a thousand dollars a month you still have a data cap okay and then we've got um a, a, a double apt which is another communications art network they've got their own fiber installed so this is like three or four different fibers coming into this building now but once again they're like six hundred five six hundred dollars per month or more right for their plan once again for a 10 meg 10 meg plan um, it, it's just nuts, right? So I've got like three or four different competing fibers coming directly into this building and I can't use any of those. It's just too expensive. Now, I actually had to get my own fiber installed in this building, uh, which is this rack 
up here. I can't open these racks. I don't, I don't have the key and I don't want to pick them. Um, so, but you know, it's just boring switch gear and stuff like that. But this is the company I got to install the fiber in this building just for me. And I tried to recruit some other people in the building. And this is what I'm currently getting internet in the lab through. Okay, so this is my own fiber installed by this company, Telstra, who installed this one. Telstra wouldn't let them use this one. Right, they had to pay. They had to pay Telstra to install another fiber that comes, you know, through all this, uh, through all this racking, uh, through all this tubing and stuff over here into this rack. And so we had to pay to install a new fiber, even though there's already three other fibers in here, three or four other fibers. Uh, and this one is four hundred and forty dollars a month for 20 meg, 20 meg. And that's what I currently pay for my internet in the lab. Okay, and that is cheap. For this business park, that is the cheapest, you know, decent internet you can get with decent upload speed. That is like, uh, you know, I thought that was fantastically cheap and it is for this business park. Okay, now here's the new uh, national broadband network uh, rack or one of them, uh, but this is the main, this is where the new national broadband comes in and I'm going to hook up to this uh, shortly this month. So the fibre comes in here, okay, so it, you know, it comes down there somewhere. Anyway, comes in and uh, that's the new national broadband, okay, they've got some patch stuff and then it goes into a patch box like that. There you go, that's a fibre patch panel box for all the, uh, each individual office in this uh, building complex will have its own little fibre patch there. So I've got fibre directly to my office now, fibre to the premises, um, as it's called. So, but a lot of houses in Australia only have fibre to the node, which is ridiculous. Anyway, um, so that's the new NBN I've just signed up. Hopefully I'll get it installed in the next month and I'm gonna be paying like around about a hundred bucks per month for a hundred meg slash 40 meg. But the way they've set up uh, the internet in the NBN in Australia, like the system configuration and stuff, if everyone decides to use it at once, you it, the speeds drop drastically. So anyway, I'm very excited by that. And there's another management uh, thing down here, and that that handles like uh, you know security cameras in the building and other. Um, yeah, I don't believe, I think that is the security system. Um, it's got nothing to do with the uh, any of the internet or um, phone system or anything like that. So there you go. That is a typical MDF room inside a, uh, you know, in, in the basement, literally in the car park basement of these buildings. This is where all the fibre. So we've got five, now got five, I think, fibres coming into this building. And you only need one. You need one fibre. Could, if you implement the system right, one fibre, everyone in this building could have one gig, one gig symmetrical internet, right? Uh, like, but it's just due to this ridiculousness of uh, infrastructure, internet infrastructure in this company. Anyway, the NBN, um, I'll pay a hundred bucks a month, so it's one quarter the cost of what I'm currently paying with this rack, which is 440 bucks a month, and yes, Everyone overseas in every tin pot little country in the world who's getting, you know, one gig slash one gig internet for 50 bucks a month, yeah, go on, boast. Um, but this is the nature of Australia. I can't use any of the existing fibers, I had to restore my own. It's just nuts, it really is. Anyway, very excited. The NBN is happening uh, both in my lab and the other office as well, and I'll finally have unlimited data. Uh, by the way, because I do have a data cap at the moment, which is why I can't stream 24-7. I can't stream a webcam 24-7. It'd chew up my data allocation in a couple of days. It's just nuts. Anyway, my monthly allocation. Anyway, there you go. That's a typical MDF room in a commercial corporate building and my various internet options, which are now pretty much only... Well, uh, one, <laughs> but so I'm very pleased to be paying my hundred bucks a month. But we'll see how it goes. Like, the, we'll see what the real speed I actually get, and I'll keep you updated on that. Anyway, hope you like that. Catch you next time. And that is the uh, fiber to the premises uh, outside every office here in this building. And <laughs> this is the one next door, and it looks like someone's had the MBN installed um, a couple of days ago, and they didn't even bother to clean it up. Grots.